Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This will be another Nintendo NX video. Make sure you're hitting that subscribe button for everything Nintendo NX. I'm really close to hitting 4,000 subscribers. It would be absolutely epic if we hit it as soon as possible. Literally, I'm only about 20 subscribers away from hitting that 4,000 subscriber mark. Just like to welcome all of you people who have subscribed to the channel recently. Hopefully you will enjoy my content. The series playlist, which you should be seeing in the top right, containing every single NX video I have made since March 2015, is fastly approaching 100 videos. So this channel is definitely the channel for you if you are interested in NX content. In this video, I'll be bringing you some Nintendo NX details. Nothing specific like, oh yeah, this is the controller, this is its architecture, it's a blah, 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 it's, it's x86 or something like that. They are less concrete details, but they are details nonetheless. They are hints towards what we could expect from the NX, just because there was an interview with Scott Moffat in the Financial Post, and yeah, I just thought I'd read it out in this video. I think it has given us a few hints towards what we could expect in a few areas. It's nothing concrete, like I said, but I think it gives us a better idea of what to expect in terms of the NX architecture, marketing, third-party support, and stuff like that. So basically, the first question that the Financial Post asked was, Looking back at the lifetime sales of Wii U and 3DS, both of which have ebbed and flowed over the years, what are some of the lessons Nintendo has learned in this generation that it will apply to its strategy with future products? And this is what Scott Moffat had to say about that. First, it's really important to have the right content. Software drives hardware. We've proven that multiple times. The right game can really lift the system. With The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild being among the titles we're working on for the NX, we're very excited it will be a immediate reason game fans will want to buy the hardware. Second, it's important to have clear positioning for your proposition and be, be able to explain it to consumers in a simple and easy way. These are among the things that we are working on for the NX. And that kind of sounds like they have learned their lesson from the Wii U's marketing, which is kind of scrambled. It led to a lot of people thinking that the Wii U was an add-on for the Wii. So hopefully, Nintendo have learned the lesson in terms of the NX's marketing strategy. And it seems like from what Scott Moffat just said right there, how they're saying that um, it, you know it's important to have clear positioning for your proposition and be able to explain it in a simple and easy way it seems like that they have learned their lesson and it seems like well hopefully it seems like that the nx marketing will be better than the wii u's marketing because it definitely needs to be because let's be honest the wii u's marketing was absolutely terrible um so yeah it's definitely a positive step in the right direction i guess the only way we will find out is when we actually see the nx advertisements themselves closer towards and the NX launch. Scott Moffat then went on to say that there are other factors like third party content, and this is what he had to say about that. Our mission is to create the largest install base possible so that third party developers will want to bring their content to our systems. Now, does this suggest that there won't be that many third party games at the launch of the NX? Maybe third party developers. You know, maybe they might want to wait for the install base to be large enough for them to want to bring over their games over to the system. I have talked about this before, I do believe. I can't remember in what video, but I, I can definitely remember talking about this on my channel. Maybe that is suggesting that we won't be seeing that many third-party games at launch. What's happening with Nintendo's major third-party partners both right now and in the future with NX is Financial Post's next question. This is how Scott Moffat answered. That's a great question and that is one that we give a lot of thought to. There's a tendency for people to focus on certain publishers or certain titles. But when you step back and take a look at it, 
we have great publisher relationships with companies like Ubisoft, which had some exciting announcements this week, Capcom and Warner Brothers. They have been strong and will continue to be strong partners in the future. Having said that, what will attract even more partners to our platform, which of course is something we would like to do, is having a piece of hardware that provides interesting ways for these companies to bring their game creations to life, one that's easy to bro program and work on, and that has a large enough install base of game fans that are looking for a variety of content. Now there are a couple of things you can take from that. Um, having a piece of hardware that provides interesting ways for these companies to bring their game creation to li uh, game creations to life kind of goes along with what Keen Machine was, was saying about the NX being a new way of playing games. So that kind of, for me, reconfirms that the NX controller might be something different. That is just what I took from that. You might take something completely different from that statement. But the most important thing to come from this interview is that line where he talked about having a piece of hardware that's easy to program and work on. That is kind of hinting at a more simple architecture for the NX. Maybe it is similar to the PS4 and Xbox One. That is kind of what I'm thinking that Scott Moffat was hinting towards in this interview. So that would be absolutely massive if the architecture for the NX was similar to the PS4 or Xbox One. Or it wasn't too different and complicated. Um, so that it means that we could get third party games. I think this interview, all right, we didn't get anything concrete in terms of like concrete details that will be coming in a few weeks' time when the NX does get officially revealed. And of course, we'll make a video you know, covering those concrete details. But it sounds like Nintendo have learned their lesson from their marketing, like from what Scott Moffat was saying in that interview. Obviously, we need to see the marketing first to be able to say that, but from that interview, it did kind of feel like they have learned their lesson in terms of the marketing and the architecture as well. It sounds like, from what he was saying there, it sounds like that the architecture for the NX will be easier for third-party developers to work on. And that is the most important thing when it comes to third-party support. It's not about the teraflops, it's not about doing that 4K, it's about having an architecture that is easier for third-party developers to use, that is easier for third-party developers to port their games over to the NX. Because that is, that is, that those two things were the two things that were wrong with the Wii U, it's marketing, and it's architecture. If you get those two things right, then you're pretty much halfway there, in my opinion. Um, so I'm definitely feeling a lot more positive about the NX. A lot of people, like I said at the start, I, I can't remember if I, did, if I did say this at the start, but a lot of people are saying that, oh, Nintendo, they never learned from like the previous hardware, they never learned the lesson. Well, it sounds like from this interview that they have, because from what I took from that is that they have learned a lesson from their marketing point of view. It seems like they want to create a clear message for the NX in terms of, you know, through its marketing and its architecture, it sounds like it will be easier to work on. So, yeah, I'm definitely feeling a lot more positive about the NX. I was ne never negative anyway. I'm not stupid enough to judge a console before it's flipping revealed. Um, I'm just sitting here waiting for the thing to get revealed and if I see something which needs to be talked about like in, in a negative fashion it's like, like what I did in the Wii U days like when the Wii U was first coming out I slagged off its marketing um, and I will do the same for the NX if its marketing is poor and I will do the same for the, Wii, uh, for the NX if its architecture is too different so that means that we won't be able to get third party games again like the Wii U. I will be coming out and criticising Nintendo if they do those things. But I'm not going to be sitting here criticising something which hasn't been officially revealed yet. Because for me, that is just way too premature. And let's be honest, it's just quite frankly stupid. So yeah, not really concrete details, but it's giving us a few hints at you know what to expect in terms of the NX. And it's definitely... 
positive news in my opinion. So let me know your thoughts about this video in the comment section below. I've got another one hopefully coming out soon, rounding up all of the NX stuff which happened last week at E3 2016. There was a lot of NX news last week which I hope to round up soon on my channel. But for the moment, that is it for this video and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.